I figured we're going to do a compression check on the engine. I don't know if you saw the last video, but we know the engine cranks. We haven't got it running yet, but just for information purposes, I want to see what the compression is on this one. I know the previous owner told me that he's got 10 to 1 forged pistons in this thing. Um, from what I can find online, it looks like stock compression is just over 9. So it's not a huge bump in compression. So again, we've got the E31 head on here. I can verify that. You can see that there, E31. Uh, it is the P30 chassis, I think. It's on the other side behind the headers. Um, so we're going to take out uh, spark, all the spark plugs. And we're going to do some uh, compression chest test on this thing just to see what kind of compression it has. Make sure the engine looks healthy before we even really go any farther. Just for you know the sake of doing it. Because if it's not, then maybe it's uh, engine swap time. We'll see if we can set the camera down there like that and do some spark plug pulling here. Try to separate the wires. Keep everything organized. Except I forgot my ratchet. So the previous owner did tell me that there's roughly only 10 hours of runtime on this. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but they look like they're gonna run, but they're not in bad shape. Okay, and that one looks a little darker, but not terrible. That's interesting. So, just notice as I pull this plug out, if you can see that there, I don't know if you can see it this way. The electrode on that is an iridium electrode. And so I look at the part number, or platinum actually, sorry, it's a BPR6EGP. That is a NGK platinum plug on the number three cylinder. Or these other ones are just typical copper resistor style plugs, BPR6ES11. Why we have different ones, I don't know, but that will not be going back in like that. We will be uh, figuring out which ones are the right ones and putting the right ones in there. And which one is this? That is back to a resistor style. Yeah, that's back to a BPR6E11. Um, so. Sure. Just ran out of the plugs and used whatever you found. I don't know, but I don't like that. And again, number five is a platinum plug again. I don't know what's going on here, but I don't like the mixed plugs. And we're back to the resistor style. So our compression gauge hooked up in here. We'll start on cylinder number one. We'll give it a couple of cranks and we'll see what compression we get on the first one. So we're showing about 120 uh, PSI on there. For the next one, see if they're all the same. That one's even lower. I don't like that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's what. Only just over a hundred PSI. After number three. So we're down to below 90 on this one. What I don't know is being forged pistons, I know they have a more tolerance. So 
So I don't let the compression get better as it warms up because I know they do expand more than a standard piston. Okay, so we're on cylinder number four. Let's see what that one gives us. And that one's a little bit better. That one gives over 120. So that's interesting. That's still too much variance between the things there. So that's not making me very happy right now. That one's almost up to 150. That's that's a lot. That's a lot of differences between there. So I don't know if I got a bad bad valves, bad seals. And somebody right there is probably gonna tell me to do a leak down test next, so I'm gonna have to look into that because that is something I have not ever done. Last one, we'll see what this one shows me. And that one we're close to 130 or so. so. I'm going to go through and uh, do it again. I'm just going to take some pictures as I go, so I'll be right back. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do at this point because it looks like the compression numbers are all over the map. They were from 70 to 145-ish. So I'm going to have to figure out what's going on there. So, But I don't see how when the numbers are varying that much, how it's anything but bad. So... So after having a quick chat with my uh, brother, Dan, he recommended uh, putting a teaspoon of oil down each cylinder just to, and uh, doing the compression test again, which I've heard of that before. I've never needed to use that uh, trick before. And, uh, but since the engine's been sitting a while, maybe just something simple that the uh, rings just need some oil to help them seal. Um, so... I've got the only oil I got handy is this Rotella that I use in my diesel tractor. Um, again, with this one being forged pistons, and it's going to get uh, oil changed before I ever actually drive this thing. This should be fine. I'll put a just a capful since I don't have a teaspoon measuring utensil in the shop, and we'll put a capful down those uh, number two and number three cylinders. Those are the worst ones by the looks of it, and we'll uh, see if that helps bring the compression up. So we're waiting for the oil to drain into number three. We'll hook up the compression tester number two. I'm gonna pull that out. I'm gonna see what we get this time around. Twenty on that one, so that definitely helped. Hopefully, do the same thing on this one. This one was the one that had only eighty psi the first round. So, uh, try to see if I can put that so you can see it on the camera. Let's see what we got. Almost 120 on that one as well. So yesterday I started doing some compression tests on this engine. 
And if you've got this far, I wasn't very happy with the tests. I basically got uh, 120, 95, 80, 120, 145, and 120, if I remember the numbers right. And then uh, I put some oil down the cylinders number two and three, because those are the worst ones. And that brought the compression up to about 120 on both of those. So, and I thought, oh, at least it's not as bad, but that got me thinking that still shouldn't be that bad. And I'm still very concerned that there's something wrong with this uh, engine now at this point. Um, again, any of you guys are Datsun experts on there with these L24 engines or please let me know. I could use some help on this one because I am not sh thinking that's good. So um, one thing I didn't do though when I was doing the compression check is have the throttle wide open. So I've got a pry bar shoved in there just to hold the throttles open. And I'm gonna try to do this again quickly just to give it another shot, just to make sure I've done everything I can do as properly as I can do it. Um, some people say you got to do it warm. Other people say it shouldn't matter. And to my understanding, even if it's cold, it should still be similar numbers across the cylinders. And I definitely don't have that. So I'm going to do another quick round of compression te testing and we'll see what we get. Well, those numbers were a little more consistent than I got yesterday. I got about 120 across four, or sorry, five out of six. Um, number five is still giving me about 150, or almost 150 if you saw on the time lapse there. I, and again, I put oil down these two yesterday. So that could still be helping those ones. And again, that's maybe the engine's fine. So I think my next step, I got to get this thing running and see what it actually does and then we'll it's when it's actually warmed up because hopefully it's okay but it, again if you guys can give me more feedback on that that'd be great i appreciate any help thanks